welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'm going to show you how to make that slow simmered beef and mushroom ragu served over a creamy, delicious gorgonzola polenta. Now blue cheese and steak have been a classic pairing for as long as I can remember. So I thought why not take all the scraps from that filet mignon butchering video and slowly simmer it together with some mushrooms and red wine then serve it over a creamy, delicious gorgonzola polenta. You can break out the good china for this one because the company's never going to know they're eating scraps. Now to make this upscale looking rustic stew, first we'll chop up the scraps from the beef tenderloin butchering video into bite-sized pieces. And for the chain section that runs along the length of the tenderloin, We'll need to trim off any large pieces of fat or sinew, then go along cutting the whole thing into one inch cubes. Then for the rest of the scraps, which include the head section and the pieces trimmed from the tenderloin itself, again cut them into about one inch cubes. And I like to keep this pile of scraps separate from the chain scraps so that I can brown them separately. And I like to brown the chain scraps first and for a minute or two longer than we'll do for the more tender meat. And I used a large enameled cast iron Dutch oven over a fairly high heat so I could get the meat nicely browned since that develops the most flavor. And again I started with the chain pieces in about a tablespoon of oil with some salt and pepper and once the first batch is nicely browned remove it and repeat this procedure with the second half of the meat. And once all the meat is browned and removed, add a little more oil and 20 ounces of fresh mushrooms. And I have 10 ounces of white button mushrooms here and 10 ounces of baby bellas that I've cleaned and sliced in half. And as the moisture starts to release from the mushrooms, it's going to start to deglaze the pan and all that beefy flavor will absorb into the mushrooms themselves. And I like to wait until the mushrooms have some color before adding the salt so they don't release too much moisture all at once. And once they've browned, remove them and set them aside with the beef. Next we're going to add two medium carrots, one large or two small onions, and three cloves of garlic, all chopped, and saute until the veggies just start to have some color. Then add a six ounce can of tomato paste, and stir for a minute or so just to toast it a little. Then add the wine. And I've got about two thirds of a bottle here of a nice French Bordeaux, but you could just as easily use about two or three cups of a much more affordable gallon wine, like this Cabernet Sauvignon. Now stir in about three quarters of a cup of water, then add the meat and mushrooms back into the pot and stir to combine. Add two bay leaves, a half teaspoon of thyme, Give it another stir, bring the whole mixture up to a boil, then lower to a slow simmer, cover, and allow it to simmer for 45 minutes, then an additional 15 minutes with the lid slightly ajar to evaporate some of the liquid. Then to finish the sauce, stir in two pats of butter to make it nice and glossy. Make sure to fish out those bay leaves. And now we'll make the polenta. And all of my southern friends out there know that polenta is simply cornmeal grits. And I made about one cup, which yielded close to four cups. And the cooking times and liquid additions are going to vary depending on how coarsely ground it is. So follow the instructions on your package. Then during the last 30 seconds of cooking, stir in about a half cup of milk, turn off the heat, Add two tablespoons of butter for a little more luxury. Toss in about three to four ounces of crumbled gorgonzola. Stir to combine. Add a healthy pile to a shallow bowl. Then ladle over some of that slow simmered beef and mushroom ragu. A little parsley or some other fresh herb to brighten the dish. Maybe a few more crumbles of that blue cheese. And this delicious dish is ready to eat and no one at the table will ever feel like they've been served a plate of scraps. And if you'd like to print a copy of today's little luxury meal, you could always visit my blog at the link below. And for brand new recipes every week, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.